Okay, I'm outside down in the industrial area of Seattle. And uh, I'm going to do a test in the sun. First of all, I'm going to uh, run it without the DC booster. I'm not going to use it. I want to get an idea of what's coming out of the motor into the charge battery. And uh, I have the voltages for all the batteries already written down here. The ammeter here is going to see what the amps is going in going into the charge battery. I'm at the industrial area of Seattle right now. So here we go. Hold on. Somebody's alarm's going off. So here we go. Uh, right now, the ammeter is from the load of the motor to the low side charge battery right here. And it's saying 210 milliamps, which I was expecting it to say that. 200 milliamps maybe and so that's what we got going into this low side charge battery okay one minute also the low side charge battery has 12.74 volts across it now. It started out at 12.49. Okay, I'm going to look at the volts across the 24 volt high side batteries, the two in series. Okay, it's 24.52 across the high side. And we're drawing 0.19. I have this meter of what's being drawn up here from, here's the two batteries in series right here to the load of the motor from the positive to the load of the motor that's what we're seeing there and in fact i'm sure that this is now 0.192 maybe 0.2 in fact let's look at that see what's coming out of the load okay just a minute so into the motor is 0.19 uh, it's going up to 0.2 okay wait one minute okay this is coming from the 24 volt, two batteries in series to the load right now, 0.19, and it's 0.19 here. So it's kind of the same in, the same out, just the load in between, as far as amperage goes. The uh, Voltage across the two batteries in series, the high side is now 24.48, so it's dropped about 0.52 to 0.48, but you know, I had to disconnect it a few times, it started up, and at low speed it was like drawing more, so, but anyways, it's dropping now, the high side. Let's go back and see what the voltage is across that charge battery now. Right across here. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, now the charge battery, which has a 24, 24 volts on top of it, more or less, has now gone all the way up to 12.86. Started at 12.49. 
the uh, 24 volt two batteries in series high side is well it did start out at 12.63 plus 12.29 I'm going to add that up and we're going to look at the high side battery again the voltage across it just a minute okay what it started out before we did the test was uh 24.92 volts, that's this plus that. And now, notice the charge side is up to 12.87, up from 12.49. So let's move this over here. Twenty-four point four three. So it's dropped from 24.92 all the way down to 24.43, the high side has. So that is draining while the low side's charging. We have 190 milliamps into the motor and 190 milliamps out of the motor. So that's what we got. This is your basic split the positive thing going on. So, what I'm going to do now is, like you see in the drawing, I'm going to connect the booster input to the charge battery. And I set the booster not at 26.5, but 24.5. Twenty four point five volts and that's gonna go right back across this and so you're gonna be using the charge of this to charge this boosting back okay so here we go hold on a sec Okay, here we go. Note the 24.38 on the high side. And I'm going to plug the booster in now. It's plugged in on the input side to the charge battery already. There's the light on. Again, it's set to 24 and a half volts coming out of it, DC. Okay, I hooked up the ground. Now I'm going to hook up the positive. Here we go. Let's watch what happens. Well, the volts is now 24.57 across the 24 volts. You saw that jump up from uh, 190 to 200. Okay, now we have the booster recharging the high side from the low side that gets charged. We still have 200 milliamps. This 200 milliamps is from, see this, 24 milliamps is from the 24 volts, the positive out to the motor. Let's look at, again, maybe, maybe it'll be different this time, what's coming out of the motor to recharge the low side. Let's look at that. Okay, one second. Okay, 
Here's the what's coming out of the motor into the charge low side. 200 milliamps up here. You see that? So it's still the same coming in, same going out of the motor. And we can say that there's a 200 milliamps of current going into the low side charge battery. And here's the high side voltage. It looks like it's going up now. Okay, I guess I want to look at the uh, low side charge battery voltage now. One minute. Okay, the voltage now across the battery that gets the charge from the 24, 24 volts on top of it is at 12.52. So, I guess what to do is kind of keep checking what the uh, high side voltage is versus the low side voltage. There, the low side voltage just dropped 12.51. Probably I'm pulling too much out of the low side charge battery to recharge the top one. I guess the goal here is have a balance where the charge battery, the low side charge battery is being charged up because of the 24 volts on top of it going through the motor. The 200 milliamps coming in. You want that to be about the same charge as what you send back with the booster into the high side. I guess that's the goal. And you see it just dropped down to 12.5 again. So, what can I do? I could turn the voltage down that goes back to the uh, high side with the booster. That's about all I can do. So, I turned this uh, little potentiometer counterclockwise about quarter turn and the voltage in the charge battery jumped up. It was at 12.48. Uh, we started out at 12.49 before doing any tests. So it had dropped to less than what we started out with. So let's see what's happened. Maybe the, uh, I think there's a delicate balance here. See, now the charge battery is going up pretty fast. 12.61 now. 
Let's see what the uh, 24 volt high side says now. Twenty four point four started out at twenty four point nine. Let's see if that high side's going to drop now. Probably will. Seems to be holding. Ah, there it goes. So, 